Oh, yeah! Hey everyone, Super Sonic 1014. I'm back with another Super Mario 64 thing where I mess around and bonk into walls and be overall unproductive in my overall everyday life. Uh, uh, we pretty much all we did was we were in Bob on Battlefield. We did everything we could in there. Right now, can't really do much without a wing cap and without. Uh, yeah, I win cap. Uh, so pretty much we're just going into Womp's Fortress. We're doing everything we can there. It'll be great. It'll be good. Hopefully I won't suck at the game. And, uh, I say we go to the top of the fortress. We have an overall good dandy old time with my Elgato that likes to lag and make things hard in editing. Because I had to cut out footage last time and it wasn't very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this bullet bill is only used like once in the entire game. I know in the DS version it's rectified and it's like used more often But in this game, it's only used in this one spot that was fucking how the hell did I do that star that fast? I got everything first goddamn try Like wow we Wow fucking we Maybe I'm getting better at this game. Maybe now I'm getting more used to the way this controller works. And I'm just getting better at the game. Okay, we're gonna go for 100 coins here. Uh, these piranha plants, you're meant to sneak up to them, but you can also just do that. It's a lot faster and it's a better way overall. So anyway, how have your guys' days been? I just woke up like an hour ago and I still haven't eaten anything. Probably a bit unhealthy, but you know what? I don't care. Mainly because my PayPal's being stupid. You want to know, you know something? My PayPal recently, because you know, that's how I get my money. That's how I get paid. But PayPal's being weird in that it's holding my money, but it's not letting me fucking spend it for some reason. Also, this is a guy that would let you open the can, and I'm actually gonna do that. Because we can do break away the wall or whatever it's called without the cannon, but I can't do it, so we're just gonna do it the normal way. But anyway, it's holding my money, I just can't spend it, until I confirm that I am who I am, which... I can't. <laughs> I don't have, like, a driver's license, I don't have the pay stub or anything, because YouTube's pretty much my job at the moment. I don't have anything, so I'm kinda screwed in that regard. Where are they? Okay. So I'm doing the best I can to figure out how I can make it work. What I'm thinking is transfer it to a different, like, I haven't been collecting the red coins. A different, like, bank account, like my parents, and doing that, but I'm not sure. Because I'd kind of like to be able to spend the money that I have. That'd be nice. But yeah, that's pretty much been my morning. Nothing but constant pain and suffering. What else is new? You can see I have nothing to talk about right now, game-wise, because I'm just kind of going through the motions here. Fuck, no. Ah, okay. That would have been really bad if I had slid down there. Good thing I didn't. We're gonna grab this one. We're gonna be like, up ho Fuck, yo. Everything, I guess. No, no! You give me that. I don't care that I have to walk back up. You need to give me that right this second. You can see I'm kind of running out of things to say. Uh, I am recording this right, bef right like before the first part premieres. It's already uploaded. It's actually set to premiere. It is right now 10.51 a.m. And it's set to premiere at noon. So that would be an hour in my time. So yeah, I haven't seen what y'all guys thought of part one yet. Honestly, I probably should have waited until that part came out to do another one. Really? But... I just needed something to pass the time and I figured doing another one of these would do. Also, if you do this and then kick on top of him, you get coins for some reason. And I have no idea why. Also, I'm already at 98 coins. We're done here. <laughs> that was quick. That's probably going to be the quickest 100 coin star we ever do. Like, the rest of them are fucking annoying. I miss this freeform movement, because if y'all guys see my live streams, you know I'm, I've am i been doing a thing where I do Super Mario 64 with only, like, voice commands. So I can only move a little bit in, like, a certain direction. How do I do this? 
Ugh, God. I'm so scared. Like I rightfully should be! Fuck! Well, at least I got the 100 coin star. See, kids, this is why you don't do anything stupid. I'm, I'm not mad, though. At least I got the 100 coin star before that happened. So, you know, in all honesty, I probably should have set my thing to Mario Cam. That probably would have alleviated that whole issue. But you know what? It's fine. People make mistakes. Especially stupid people. Stupid people make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> That's what I am. Oh, Jesus. Shut up. Just shut up. Stop talking for a second. There you go. Oh, perfect. Perfectly executed. Also, it's a good thing I didn't go up there because I'm actually missing... Am I missing the one down here? Yeah, I am. Hold up, I got this. I miss... Mario, your hitbox... S scathed that shit. Don't give me that. Your hitbox... Your mustache... Just grazed by that red coin. Don't give me that bullshit. Ah, damn it. Don't be cool. Gotcha. Don't try to be cool. Just... Do the thing. Just do what you need to do. Alright, so I genuinely have no idea how to make that board go down. I should probably just do this the way I've been doing it. But I want to go up here the normal way at some point. So let's see. Hmm. There you go. I just had to give it a minute, I guess. Oh, for God's sake. No. 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 I refuse. The mighty plumber never dies. No, yes he does. <sighs> I'm not cutting away. I'm not cut. This is a no edit. This is a no edit playthrough. Unless it gets super boring and like Rainbow Ride or whatever, because that's the only place I ever see me cutting shit out. This is a no-cut run. You see it all. You see it raw. You get it all delivered to you. Fuck. You get it all delivered to you in a raw, unfiltered experience. I say fuck all I want. That's how unfiltered this shit is. Then again, when I have, like, a lot of dead space without me talking, it does get a little, little, little boring, but meh, whatever. What am I doing? Actually, I'm just gonna get this one first, and then I'm going to get the one down there. Because then I could just go up the normal way. Or my normal way, not the normal way. Yeah, now I can go up the triple jump maximum swag way. I can activate my secret technique. The triple jump wall kick butt sex supreme. Okay, the not as cool side flip supreme. And the last one's over there. I don't know why I added the butt sex part in, but you know what? My channel, my rules, if you don't agree, uh... Oh my god, dude! Why did I do- I need to stop that. When I have eight red coins until I need to stop doing that, that is- no. Oh, I'm just lucky I lived there. Fucking lord. Alright, how many more do we have? I think we have break away the wall and the owl one. The owl one, I'm gonna try- Actually, I'm gonna do the wall one first, because then I'll have, like- I'm gonna do the wall one first, because then I have a little bit more leeway in case the trick I'm about to try takes forever. I've only ever gotten owlless once in my entire life, and it's not been on Nintendo 64. So just warning y'all now, this could get messy. Just in case. Not like anything's really gonna happen. But you know, you never know. I could fall off 
and take s and be hurt. And be like, oh, I hurt myself today and it hurts and I hate it. <laughs> you guys, you guys know why I haven't done shit like this before? Because I suck at commentary. Like, what is there, what do I have to say? My life is boring, I don't have anything to talk about there. The game's pretty self-explanatory. It's a wonder I haven't paused for like 20, 30 second bursts yet. It's a surprise. All right, now we're gonna try out Alice and it's gonna not be very fun. Ah, yes. The good old wall kick, uh, dick sex supreme. Why am I like this? So I'm not actually gonna land in the cage. I'm gonna land next to the cage just so I can try Alice. I'm doing that just to land in the cage. Thank you, Al. Now I need you no more. There is lag here. Oh my god, I did not remember there was lag here. Fuck. I did not remember there was lag here. God damn it. Well. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. Well, this is that the lag is gonna make this like 50 times harder. Ah, damn! See, that's what happens to me every single time I try to do this. This is like my only form of protection I have with my health. I do have a red coin over there, but that's too far. My lazy plumber ass wouldn't get that. That's too low. Uh, fuck. Alright, come on. I believe. Guys, you have to believe in me in order for this to work. You have to raise your hands to the sky, and you have to give me your energy for the stupid triple jump wall kick. That's not the right angle. I need your energy, guys. Give it to me. You didn't give me enough, damn it! I need more than that. I need more than two people raising their hands. I'm amazed I made that without diving. Right, come on. Oh, well, that was just the complete wrong direction. I don't like it. <laughs> Me no likey that. Not at all. Fuck, fuck that. God damn it. Alright, come on, baby. I, I believe. I believe in the Alice. I got a thirsty. Ugh. For those of you that don't know what a th what a thirsty is, it's when you wall kick on the first possible frame you can. It gives you a lot more distance and speed, which is something I don't want here. If I had just held left, that might have been it, but I didn't. At least I'm not losing health yet. The key word being yet, because I know I'm bound to at any second now. Yes! Let's go! Oh, that's the second time in my life I've done Alice. It's it's all about where you wall kick on the cage, I think. If you need to do it so that Mario's close enough so when you hold straight left, it just happens. So that's everything in Womp's Fortress. By now, we should have the wing cap unlocked. And then after we get the wing cap, we can do everything else in Bob on Battlefield. So I think I have a set place where I'm gonna stop this episode. The wing cap is very difficult to control. But I think I've managed it. Mainly it's difficult in one of the last levels of the game where you have to use it for something. And it's very difficult because there's bottomless pit everywhere. And if you make one wrong move and bonk incorrectly, you're sent back like really far. You don't when you die, you don't just get kicked out of the kicked out of the stage. You get kicked back to the castle grounds. Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna hit this just so I can get another wing cap, because I know it's probably about to run out. I was gonna try and do some cool shit, but nah, I ain't cool enough for cool shit. So the red coin's up there, so if I play my cards right... There we go. Sometimes I can be good at video games. Sometimes I need to just crawl in the ditch and die. Why do I say the things I say? <laughs> oh, man. 
Alright, well, now we can get the rest of the things in Bob on Battlefield. We could have technically gotten the red coin star, but meh. We're gonna get the hundred coin star first. Now that we have the wing cap, we can do some things we couldn't previously do. There aren't any coins in these, right? Oh, yeah, there are. Good thing I went here first. This is pretty much just going to be running around and trying to get everything I can, because I actually don't remember where a lot of the coins are on the ground. My main coin supply is going to be in the sky. So really, this is just going to be me going around and, uh... I guess just doing things like this. Like, dying, almost. Also, I do want to show this. If you just kick a bomb, it just dies. So I should probably just be doing that. But then I wouldn't get to show off, and where's the fun in that? Also, where's the fun in being blown up to Kingdom Come? Ooh, that almost just killed my ass. Uh, well, not really killed. I have plenty of health, but still. All right, now I gotta remember that I have all the bombs over. Do everything in your power, guys, to remind me that I've got all the bombs over there. Ooh, this is another reason why I waited, because this Koopa's here. And you can ride his shell, and if you kill him with his shell, you get blue coin. And it really helps. So that's why I, another reason why I waited. Except now I really have no other reason for this shell. Except for maybe killing things quickly. Except I need to make sure I grab all the coins, because I'm not sure where all the other coins are. I, mm -hmm. I didn't grab this. Uh, yoink. Oh, come on, dude. I've never- I haven't used the shell much, so I guess this shows how bad I am at it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for- Short hop, nope. Okay, well this bomb- Okay, well I'm gonna get the coin from this bomb. Never mind, I already got it. Wait, no, it's a- I missed a coin! Where did I miss a coin? I just saw one, like, die. Ooh. I haven't actually been on the shell this long. Uh, why did I say? Why do I speak? Why do I exist? What is my life? I just went through like 15 existential crises at the same time. Don't you love those existential crises? Cris crises? Crises? I don't know. Oh, that fucking bubble! I'm gonna get this. I, I don't care how or when, I'm going to get that. At one point. And I'm going to show off just how broken this shit is. I got this shit in practice. I know I can do it. There you go. See, look, you should, you should go backwards. Ain't it cool? Ain't it worth it? Ain't it worth showing off? Ain't it just a big cocky doodle? I don't know what the hell that word was supposed to be. Or what it was supposed to mean. But you know what? When I'm on camera, anything's possible. Wait, did I not? I never opened the cannons up because I never had to go up to the... Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and do that. Well, that's a sure shame. Ah, fuck. Okay, I already did get... Abort, abort, abort. Get this. Throw it against the wall. Wait, can I throw it in a Goomba? I could if my aim was getting better. Oh god damn it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get back. Kill these things. Kill these things for good and forever. Alright, so now you could ground pound these stakes in and get a lot of coins. Or if you run around the stakes like this, their coins just pop out. But of course then that means that you don't ground pound them and I don't think you get coins after you do that. So you either ground pound the stakes or you run around them a number of times. I run around them because I just like it. It makes me feel accomplished that I'm actually doing good things in my life, you know what I mean? Instead of ruining the stakes life by ground pounding into it, I'm just running around it and it's just giving me money because I'm such a nice guy. You know? These stakes could have a wife and children. And you're just ground pounding them into the ground if you do it the other way. And I don't know. That just doesn't seem very nice. That just doesn't seem very nice at all. I still don't know what I'm talking about anymore. 
I guess this is what happens when I try to play video games. I just run out of shit to talk about and I just spew shit. It's different from a live stream. Because you know in a live stream it's just me talking to a chat. And I have a lot more things to talk about and it seems a lot more lenient. But with a video, there we go. With a video you need to like have some other different things to talk about and I just lack that skill. I just lack that knowledge, that foresight, that IQ. I lack the IQ necessary to be able to talk about random things without me rambling like I am doing right this very second. Also, cool thing you can do with this bob -omb. I've shown this off plenty of times when I've done this on stream. He's not sta he's not moving, which is different behavior from the other bombs, so I don't think they accounted for this. If you grab him and then ground pound, this happens. The only issue is I'm gonna probably lose that coin. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. We've got plenty of coins up there. Now, I probably should have went and grabbed the can cannon, so I could have just went straight up before I did this. But meh, whatever. I don't think there's any more coins up here, right? No, alright. Time for the journey back. I'm amazed I didn't take damage there. I got it. I probably should have taken the cool wing cap way, but meh, whatever. This is easier. The mighty plumber avoids damage once again through his mighty dive technique. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't open the cannons. Then again, I probably really shouldn't be. Because I did try to do that stupid long jump shit. So whatever. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end of 100 coins in Bob on Battlefield, the worst star in this stage. Are you happy? Are you proud? 100 coins in this game, no matter what level it is, except for maybe Womp's Fortress and Big Boo's Haunt, sucks. Just sucks a lot of dick. Oh my god, I shot right past it. Ugh. Okay, take off the Mario cam, because every time I shoot, it makes me think I'm doing something wrong, because the camera angle's weird. The camera angle is not what I'm used to, and I fucking hate it. Just shoot to the tree in case something goes wrong. It didn't. Alright, let's see if I can... Nah, there's not enough coin. Nah, I think there's nine coins here. Yeah, there's enough coins. I can do this. Ooh, except this is gonna- Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wing cap this. Alright, one more. I'm not about to put it, like, over too far out, so I'm just gonna try and grab this last coin. Thread the needle. Okay, we got this, guys. Don't worry. This last coin shall be mine eventually. God damn it! I'm pr I should probably just collect a coin over there. Maybe. Maybe. No, come on, you motherfucker. Let me look cool, goddammit. I need acceptance. Oh, fuck it. That was probably a bad idea. Because now it's just floating in midair. Oh, boy. I... You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna get it from the cannon. If I can. If I don't miss it terribly. I shouldn't, though. I, know, I think I know how these can. Ah, oh, I can barely see it. Uh, that's too high. Maybe. Damn it all! Ugh. No, no. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just... I'm gonna see if I can triple jump to get- to go and get it. I need some speed. Ah! This is exactly why I didn't want to grab a coin out there. Because I either shoot the cannon too low or too high. Okay, I got it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, not into the jaws of the beast! Oh, Jesus. Okay, 
Okay, I got it now. And then the last star is just shoot through the five coins in the middle of the rings up in the sky. That should be somewhat easy. Alright. So the last star. And then we'll go get start the next course, I guess. Really, there's nothing much to say from here on. I mean, you saw a fucking... This, you know... I think I have a good strategy. And then I deviate from the strategy because I want to just get either get it over with or just look cool. And then everything just fucking goes straight to hell. So, I mean... Son of a bitch. What am I, five years old? What did I think that was going to work? Come on now. Get with the time, get with the times, get with the times. Ah! I can never figure out a good angle for that cannon shot anymore. I used to be able to get it so many times when I was younger, and I can't now. Like, what the hell? I don't understand. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, wing cap. You know what it is. Let's go get him, I guess. This star is very finicky because the last, like, two or three rings can ring things you can't see. Ah, if I hadn't held forward, I would have had that. I would have had all of them, and then I would just had to get the first one. And instead, I had to go and be a fucking moron. A knucklehead McSpazitron. I hit ground pound! Fuck! No! Owie. I made it. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, nope. This is not a drill. Just get the star and leave. Just get the star and leave. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. All right, that's that's pretty much all we can do in the first two courses. Not that bad, not at all. Who's ready for water levels? You know, everyone praises. I like the music in the water levels, but I don't like the water levels themselves. The water levels themselves are such drags. Like they just go on and on and on for me. Okay, well, first of all, you don't immediately go in. There's a hidden one, hidden star over here. That's just your introduction to water, I guess. You just swim and get the red coins. It's really not that hard. But yeah, the swimming controls are all right. A bit slow for my likings. Plus, they can be a bit finicky when you need to go for something specific. Like in the red coin star, where the red coins are inside the clams, it can be finicky trying to worm your way in there without getting yourself hit. You can also hold A for this weird, like, this. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. If you time your A, if you try and you time your A presses right, you can just do that. And it makes you go a lot faster. You hear it, right? Yeah. Also, it lags a lot underwater. Like, there's a lot of objects and stuff that they usually put underwater, and it's not really a good time. So we're just gonna start the next course, because like I said, the first part was only short because I was gonna do it with YouTube's premiere feature. But now that we're past that, we're, I'm gonna make these as long as I can. So we're, once again, gonna go a little bit out of order. We're gonna go get the third star first. Actually, yeah, we're gonna get the third star first. Because we can't get the sixth star yet, because the ship's still down there. But then after that, we pretty much have to get the first star. Actually, maybe we could get the fifth one? I'll know. I'll see if the bob -omb's there. If the bob -omb's there, we'll do that star next. All I know is that this one, I know for a fact, is immediately available from the start. So this thing has an order that it doesn't... Uh, this thing has an order that it doesn't really tell you. It's just, I think, this one... Yeah, that one... Then this one, and this one. 
I don't remember where it spawns. But yeah, there you go. It's easy. Easy every time. We're already at 19 stars and we're only like a couple parts in. So, I mean, we're making some good progress, I believe. We're making some alright progress. So let me go see if the bob -omb's there. If the bob -omb's there, we'll do the next star. I doubt he is. I think he only shows up after you, like, save the sunken ship and make it come back to life. Save it from its depression. Yeah, I don't think he's there. That could just be the draw distance fucking with me, though. Or I could just be an idiot and not wall, wall kick. Yeah, he's not here. I think he would- no, he might be over there. I don't remember where he is. I think he's here. Let me go check over here just in case I'm cricking and being an idiot. Nah, he-, he alright, no. We definitely have to go do the sunken ship first. The sunken ship is a little finicky because you have to, like, go close to the eel. He doesn't make any visible signs that something happened, but if you go near the eel, swim back up, give it a second, and then swim back down. Hold up a sec. Give it a second and then swim back down. He's out. Sometimes he's out and sometimes he just isn't. He's weird. He also looks like a goofy motherfucker. Also, I can never remember the order of these chests, uh, so I'm gonna be left to guess. This one? Nope. And I'm come r kinda running against the time limit here. This one? Nope. This... We got two more choices. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm fine. We're living. We're living. Guys, I'm fine. We're fine. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. What made you think we were ever dead? We're, we're fine. Be quick so you can get as high as you can before the water drains. Perfect. Alright, so now that the ship's up, that rose the ship pretty much. So now that the ship's up, we have access to every single star. Now, the first one I'm gonna try is a star that you normally would need another cap, the metal cap for, in order to get. But you can get it without it if you're pretty precise with how you swim. I wanna see if I can get that. I'm kind of doubting myself because it might take a while and it's... Unlike emulator, it's really laggy here. So my swimming might... Be a, might take a little more finesse. That star down there might seem simple, but that blows you up. But if you swim perfectly, you can get it. So hold on. Holy shit! Remember that record button curse I was talking about in part one? Apparently that's not a thing in this part. I am blowing through this game. Damn! God damn. All right, well, there's the sixth star done. All right, let's go grab the bob -omb and see if we can do that star. The bob -omb should be out. Should be out of, out of here out of here now. And then we'll do 100 coins in red. Yep, there he is. And then we'll just do 100 coin in red coin and just get that over with. I can't believe I got that first try, dude. That's insanity. That's in fucking sanity that I was able to get that. Alright, so now the cannon's open. We can just come over here. Hop in and just jump up. Shoot up where the star is. It's a great thing. It's a great time. Great times are being had by all. You gotta shoot to this thing. It's a pretty little precise. Then once you get it, you just... Ooh. Mario down, definitely. You jump over here. You be like, hup ho. What's up? It's your boy Super Mario. Mario. Mario! <laughs> Why do people call him Mario? Like, that's the pronunciation of people who have never played a video game before. 
Like, even Charles Martinet at the beginning of the game goes, It's a me, Mario! You, you know, it's Mario. Mario! That just sounds wrong. It feels like you're disrespecting a man every time. Oh, man. Ooh. Disrespect, huh? I'm not gonna risk dating the video by mentioning this occurrence in that has happened on Sunday. One of the Sundays, I don't remember. Last Sunday. Yeah, it was probably last Sunday. But if y'all know me, y'all know what it is, and y'all know how much I disagree with it. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so, fun fact, I actually have no clue where most of the red coins are. I know there's like two of them that are in the clams, but that's about it. So I'm not going to focus on red coins at the moment. There's two on the ship. I'm going to save those ones for last. Actually, there's three on the ship, I think. Yeah, there... Ooh, I can't see because the ship just... Yeah, there's three on the ship. So I'm going to save those for last. And I already got one, so that's four. Two of them are in clams, so that leaves wherever the other two are. And I don't remember where they are. But before we focus on red coins, there is one more place I want to go. Alright, there's one right down there. There are coins here. There's a little, like, blue coin path stone thing that you saw in Womp's Fortress. That I need to hit and I need to make sure I get every coin. Because the thing about this stage is there are exactly, I think... 104 coins? I think. So if you miss one of these blue coins over here, it's basically GG. Reset the stage, idiot. So I gotta- it's not hard, but I want to make sure I get every single one of these. So boom, 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 boom. Got it. Most of your coins are gotten from that blue coin thing. I'm just gonna flip. I'm just gonna grab the ones from the Goombas here. I'm grabbing all the other coins I can before I focus on getting the red coins. Because honestly, the red coins are easy. The yellow coins I have a chance of missing. So I'm gonna make sure I just get all of them. That's pretty much my strategy. This stage is a bitch when it comes to getting all the red coins because... Or getting all the coins, I mean. Because... There's so little of them, and they're so spaced out, if you miss a little pocket of them, you have to scrounge the stage again and look for them. Because, like, in that corner, and it's a good thing I looked, in that corner of the cove there, if you miss those, you wouldn't have enough to get the star. You would have to go around the stage and look for them again. There's also, like, a pocket of them right here. Beyond that, there's 14 coins from red coins, so there's still a small pocket that I have to find somewhere. I'll probably- there's some right here. Okay, so we do have enough now. So from this point on, the rest of the stars should be no problem. I just have to find red coins and not die while doing that activity. I'm sorry if my commentary is a little iffy. I'm still kind of new to this whole commentary that isn't on streams thing. So it might not be the best around, but we're getting there. I do have to keep in mind that the last two, or the last three are on the ship. So once I get five red coins, just go to the ship. So there is one down there. Oh, there's, there it is. All right. There's one more. So then there's one down here, inside this clam. I don't think there are any more down here. That's- this is something I can praise the DS version for. Because in the DS version, you can talk to the one- to a pink bob -on that was, like, added at the beginning of the stage. And he'll put on the touch screen, like, where the red coins are. So if you miss one, you can just go to him and he'll point you in the right direction. I like that addition. Too bad I don't have it. So I genuinely have no idea where the last one... Oh no, wait, is it down there? Yeah, it's in that guy. 
Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Clam Man. Pop up. Give me a, give me your shit. Alright, now we gotta go to the sunken ship. That's pretty much it. The rest of them are on the sunken ship, and then we're done with that 100 coin mission forever. I never have to do it again. Oh god, uh, f oh, that only t I thought that took more damage from you. I honestly t thought that took more damage from you. I guess not. Alright, so the rest of them, the red coins are just up here. I know I'm repeating a lot of what I say, it's because I don't know what to talk about, really. And that's all she wrote, thank god! I hate a hundred coin missions. You will hear me say it over and over again. I hate a hundred coin missions with every ounce of my passion and soul. Alright. Next up is just the eel one. And then that's it. And then we're gonna cut off the episode here. We're not quite reaching an hour yet. Okay, I guess I guess we'll just use the cannon then. I was gonna try and long jump off, but I misjudged a tiny bit. Yeah, we'll use a cannon to get a little bit of the ways, why not? The cool thing about this star is that it's attached to this guy's tail. It would normally be annoying to get it out, but if you, like, stand right here and then point down, you can see through the wall, so you can see when he's coming out. Like, there, it didn't quite work. I have to go. This star can be a little annoying, especially if you don't get the star right when it, he comes out. Because then he starts swimming around and it's hard to catch up with him. You have to get close enough so that you don't close enough so that he comes out, but far enough away so that you don't get hit. Alright, here we go, that's fine. So then we just point down, we wait for the star. Okay, good. That's an easy way to do it. It's nice that the camera goes through the wall that one time, so that you just go and it works. I like when you just go and it just works. That's my favorite thing. So that's everything I believe in Jolly Roger. Yes, sir. So I believe we're going to cut this off here before my video file gets too big and my computer cries. Uh, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. It's really nice to do these. It's a little relaxing, a little refreshing. And uh, yeah. This has been Super Sonic 1014. I'll see you guys in the next part where I guess we go do Cool Cool Mountain. Yes, sir, that's going to be fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye.